Hey everyone, my name's Nicole Renard and I'm here right now in the Compact Production Studio at the Sony booth and I'm with Andrew DiPuzzo with Memnon. He's going to be telling us a little bit about some new Sony services. So Andrew, thank you so much for joining it's me today. my pleasure, thank you very much. Could you please just give us a brief overview of the services that Memnon provides? Sure, I mean in many ways with all the technology around us today, we provide one of the simplest services and I think easiest to understand. Many of us have at our home VHS tapes and many of us no longer have machines on which to play these. Well, this isn't just a personal problem, but it's a problem for our industry in general. Over the years, we've generated tens of millions of videotapes and they're stored all over the world. The problem is the machines to play them back are no longer available in many cases. And even worse than that, with magnetic media, many national and international organizations have done studies over the past few years and determined that within the next 10, maybe 15 on the outside, years from now, most of these tapes will be beyond any kind of playback. Mm -hmm. So the issue facing many of our customers, potential customers today is, do you go spend the money today to digitize your tapes or do you allow them to degrade and become basically rust and unable to be played back in the not too distant future? Okay, so why would someone with tape archive bother with tape digitization? Well, it's an expense, but the first and most important thing is that they can uh, keep that material from deteriorating and going away forever. But that's not all. I mean, there's also opportunities for uh, additional monetization opportunities, and there's also ways to save money if they were to digitize today versus letting it go some future time. Okay, and is that expensive? Uh, it really depends. It isn't all that expensive. It isn't as expensive as it used to be, but it's certainly going to be more expensive in the future. So in okay. the past, it was uh, you'd have to go to a production studio and you'd spend hundreds of hours to digitize an hour of tape. Now it's not anywhere near that. Now you're you know for the Betacam type family, you're talking about twenty dollars or less an hour, and 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 some of these formats, while they're a little bit more money than that, are still far lower than they're going to be in the not too distant future from now because all the equipment like three quarter inch matic is being used up by those of us in this business today it's becoming harder and harder to get it's getting harder and harder to maintain so the cost of digitization is only going to go up as time goes by okay so how can some of these assets be monetized after digitization well there's many ways to amortize your assets after digitization I like to give the story of a record company that I worked at. There's a major record company, in fact. And in the early days, uh, we would send, I worked at the record company, we would go to YouTube and send them takedown notice, DCMA uh, takedown notices, because we didn't want our material on YouTube because we're trying to sell CDs, right? Mm, right. Made all the sense in the world. Come to find out that we then go to YouTube and say, here's our masters. If you find this music, I want you to take it down. YouTube said, okay, we can do that, but I got a better idea. Instead of taking it down, why don't we try this? Why don't we leave it up and we give you a share of the advertising revenue? Wow. Sure enough, several years later, it took some time, but now YouTube is one of the largest customers for this particular label because they have thousands and thousands of their uh, titles available. They don't pay anything for it, right? There's no production cost associated with it, no distribution cost associated with it. So all the advertising revenue they get back is basically profit you know, on a, on, a, on a variable level. So I think there's opportunities like that. There's uh, other companies like Waze. Sony DADC's got a new company uh, venue, or a new service called Venue. So all of these services are being now uh, made available to software publishers because there's a growing demand and an almost insatiable demand for new content. Awesome. So can you tell us a little bit more about the potential cost savings? Sure. As far as the cost savings go, uh, I was just talking to somebody here at the booth that has tapes stored in New York City. So I'm able to prove by the, you know, because New York City is really expensive, so it doesn't <laughs> apply obviously for the rest of the country, but for New York City, I'm able to prove that if they were to spend the money to digitize today, they would save the cost to store it in one year. Oh, in other wow. words, I can, I can digitize for the same cost that, it, that they have to store that same asset for one year. So after one year now, they have the asset, it's, it's been uh, preserved digitally, and they no longer have that year-to-year -year expense. So that's one of the most important cost savings, right? But then there's more. There's the, you know, if you're a, a, a news production facility, for example, and you have, let's say, 10,000 tapes somewhere in a storeroom, right? If you find out that all of a sudden 
uh, is some famous person uh, is now running for public office, let's say, and you want to find anything you might have on that person, and they weren't running for office before, finding all of those tapes in a physical archive would take a long time. And you'd have to have people pulling out tapes and looking through them to find it. It's a very costly process, and it's a very time-consuming process. Right. If you had all those assets available on a hard drive somewhere, and all you had to do was search Andrew DePuzo, anything that had my image on it would come up and be instantly available. Thank you so much for that information. This is Andrew DePuzo. He's here with Memnon. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you right back here next time.